All right, so here we have an interesting little machine, a Dirt Devil Ultra MVP. Manufacturer code was J98 something, so I'm guessing it's from 1998. But the thing that makes this most interesting is the very wide air path on it. We can see this tube here leads down into the base. And then at the base, we have this gigantic hose. I think it's about two, maybe two and a half inches in diameter, if I recall. But it allows it to have some amazing airflow at the base. So we have just an absolutely enormous air path. And then I believe there's a little kind of lever in here that... Uh, Kind of locks the uh, air path off. Yep, there's a little trap door in here. Probably can't see that. There it is. When the machine's put upright, this little trap door back here swings down to allow more airflow and suction for the hose. But there's nothing stopping the hose from sapping the uh, machine's power. Well, it's upright except for the little, except for the little. Uh, holder right there. Although, strangely, these machines have a little cap you can put on, which is weird. I'm, I've never seen one without a hose on it before. All right, we've got the seal onto the base as well as I can. I have a feeling the tape is going to break when we try to do the suction test, just based upon what's happened with the turbines. Because the last time I measured this, I used the, uh, foam strips that were on here and I got about 60 inches of lift so it's likely that it's gonna break but uh, let's turn it on we'll check our loaded voltage as well as our wattage for the single motor we have the brush off at the moment so we are at 19.2 the wattage Try to do suction. Turn the brush on. So clearly we're not getting as great a seal as I would like, but this thing too is having a problem with nose diving, because when I tried putting that through there, the entire machine jumped up and it was actually pulling the back end of the machine off the ground. So it's safe to say we probably have more suction than I am measuring, but I just don't know that I'll be able to accurately measure it with this setup. I suppose I could try it with the foam strips too to see if I could recreate that result. I just figured with the tape we might have a little bit better of a seal and possibly be able to get a better airflow number, but uh, let's try this with the brush roll on as well.
Well, let's try the foam. that's not working so well either. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure how I got that 60 reading before. I must have done something to support this so it didn't pull into that, but I'm not sure what anymore. There's one more thing I want to try with this. Because this, this piece of filter seems quite restrictive, so why don't we try taking this out just for now? Because I'm also getting about a 7 CFM rating lower than what I've gotten last time around, and I guess I'm not exactly sure what's changed since then. Could be environmental factors, might even be measuring at a lower voltage for all I know. So hard to say where that, different com that difference is coming from, but I just figured I would kind of explore things while I had it out of its box. So, yeah, apparently this is uh, quite restrictive, because I think we were at 47 or 4800 before. Huh. Well, with these it's always a good idea to have a pre-motor filter in place, so why don't we just place that back in there regardless, because these were known to burst their bags. And it's a shame no company has taken the initiative to produce Dirt Devil slash Royal U bags in HEPA. These machines would really benefit from it. Just for the sake of convenience, I'm going to lay this on its side. Its hose is quite long, even when it's compacted. So, we'll do the airflow and suction on there. I'm sure it's not going to be nearly as impressive. That trap door on the... Uh, brush roll cavity doesn't seal very well, so we're not going to see anything even close to like the 100 something CFM mark, if I recall. Decent. Yeah, that seal is not doing it any favors. But if I try pushing this up a little bit, Well, I thought I could get better numbers out of it, but nope. So, <laughs> I guess its hose suction is pretty poor. The hose airflow is okay, but not great. And then a little pickup test. I've got the height set pretty far up. When you got as much power as this thing does, it's kind of necessary. Some say it's the belts. I think it's the, br uh, the brush roll motor. It stalls if it's down too low. When 
you got that much power, a single pass is pretty much more than enough to take care of surface.